these teenagers are responsible for 40% of crime. When I heard this, I was like, raw, something needs to change. And the change starts now. We want to make a positive impact on young people as we are stereotyped in media for wrong reasons. Who are we? Just Just Within our group, we have five projects that are dealing with separate issues within London. Here's a short presentation explaining a few. We are Friends for You. Our project is called Friends for You, which is a mentoring program aimed at secondary school students in year seven to 11, like Tom. Um, so some of the issues faced by faced by secondary school students as such as them being underachieving, having a lack of confidence, being bored or uninterested with studies, and also them being from underprivileged backgrounds. Now, what we propose to do is to recruit older mentors between the age of 16 to 23, um, uh, who are responsible, sensitive, and experienced. We want all these students to build confidence and reach their full potential, um, and also increase their social skills. But at the same time, we want them to have fun and we want them to bond and create a relationship. We want them to bond and create a relationship with their mentor. Um, to do this, we're going to need uh, cooperation from schools, youth clubs, and we won't need much money because this is going to be volunteer based. So hopefully we'll be able to get this done and with the most with low maintenance. Thanks very much. Every year a vast amount of food is chucked away by either major supermarkets or retailers, the majority of it only because it's gone, before, it's, it's gone up after a sell-by date or a best-before date. But just because a piece of food has gone before, has run out of its uh, sell-by date or a best-before date, does not may, mean it is unsafe to consume. Therefore, we, preserve, we, pr we wanted to promote a project in which we take the food from the supermarkets when it's gone out of its sell-by date and distribute it to people impoverished who are in London or have no food. Now, <laughs> now, through our research, we actually found there was a company in London called Foodworks who's actually working with change makers at the moment. And we wanted to pitch to them our idea in that we can possibly annex our project to their project and <clears throat> use their resources and possibly their funding, which to, to then better the community. While bringing our energy and our passion for this subject, we would then, we would then, we would then better the community and give people food, basically. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, another idea of ours is to have a sport and education center that is different. From our research, we gathered that there's only one free sport and education center that um, some youth know of, and this one is based in Greenwich. Um, we want to open one, if it's possible, in North London or East or West, anywhere nearby, so that people don't have to travel all the way from there. Um, the free facilities will be available for eight to 18 year olds and we aim to provide martial arts, basketball, football, um, any of the major sports that they want to play. Um, and next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, sorry about my voice, just that I had too much fun yesterday. Um, the main reason why we thought of this plan is because we thought of something that would help to keep the youth the teenagers out of the streets and also also we thought of something that would help them to have self-confidence and self-control and also to promote education and because I know you have mono, sorry many of the teenagers we really don't like school so if we really get to get this in sports and stuff that will help us more and also for fitness because many people don't really like Sorry, just I'm going to have to cut in there. Judges, you may now ask your questions. Can I, the first question I got is, what were the other two projects? Yeah, yeah, so we didn't get um, enough time to finish that. We slightly mistimed it. Um, one of the other projects was an idea that I had, which was basically to market other projects which were out there. So 
Um, projects, you can have projects, but they won't necessarily work if you don't get the right amount of people going to them or if you don't get the right type of people going to them. So there are projects out there that you don't know about. So the idea is to um, apply for money from the Youth Capital Fund. If they don't give it, keep applying and applying and applying. And just use that money, um, apply with, um, link with um, media and with marketing people to try and um, market projects so that projects will come to us um, to try and get publicity so that they um, can be successful. was to open more youth, youth sites so that we can keep teenagers off the streets because mainly it's because of boredom and it's mainly because of boredom and because they don't have nothing to do and they want places to go so we're going to open sites like firstly based in central London so north, east, south and west can come and there'll be like activities there, free trips Hi guys, quick question on the um, uh, mentoring program. Um, how many volunteer mentors would you like to attract in your first year and where do you think you'll find them? Okay. Um, we're going to start from where we're from, from East London. We're trying to branch out from that. So we're looking at basically the University of East London and right. mainly sick forms and colleges there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to try and see if it works there. So we're looking at maybe 100 mentors and we're going to, the unique thing about our project is, is that we're going to recruit members, uh, I mean mentors, from one place and then we're going to look at students from another place so you get to mingle with people that you wouldn't normally meet and at the same time you can create a relationship with them. So I think that's something that we don't really get to do um, in day to day life so I think that's something that's really important. Perfect, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Just London.